Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about how to use some images in Venus Control Suite to make great looking content for your Dactronics display. We know that your display is only going to look as good as the content that you put out there, so we want to give you the tools to be able to create that great looking content. So let's get started here. Alright, for starters, um, I would recommend going to your media library, going to the drop down arrow and going to this explore free content link. I will put a link in the description to a previous video that I made on how to uh, download this content. But if you come in here and go to the backgrounds page, um, all of this content is free. It's something that we provide for you and it's you can actually select your display size and get those great looking backgrounds. So check those out. I'm going to use one of those backgrounds to make our content today. So I'm going to select this one right here for my media library. And there's a shortcut down here. If I scroll down and just click new web presentation, then that's going to automatically bring that image into a presentation for me. I'm just going to select my size and click continue. And there we go. So now I've already got that background image as a start for my message there. So now we just need to decide what we want our message to be. You know, football season is coming up here. I'm getting excited. I'm a big football fan. So that's the theme we're going to kind of stick with today. I'm going to add some text in here. I'm just going to go up and click add text box. And we're going to say football season is here. So I just typed in that text over here to the right under content. Now I'm going to go to the font section here and I'm just going to choose a different font. We're going to do days one and then it's just a matter of clicking the down arrow here until I get that to a size that I like. I could change the text color if I like right here, but I think the last thing I'm going to do is actually come down here to effects and change my outline around my text so that's a little bit thicker. That looks good. And that's a nice message, you know, we've got some text, background image, we kept it pretty brief. I'm actually going to add an additional slide. So if I come over here to slides, I'm going to click the duplicate button, it's right here. That's going to give me a whole nother slide to work with here. And uh, I'm going to show my loyalty here and put in the real important message here. I think they usually do exclamation point behind the skull there. So I'm excited for the Vikings this year. If you're a Packers fan, that's okay. You can just uh, you can just tune out this this portion. <laughs> uh, I'm going to increase my text size a little bit on that one. And you know what? I like this message, but I actually think I could add another image in here. So I'm going to save this one. That was just a background with some text over the top. But I'm actually going to upload another image here. And it's just going to be this football. We're going to see if we can incorporate this into our message here. So the first thing, of course, if you have an image you want to use, you want to upload that to your account. So I just uploaded that to my media library. Now I'm going to go to back to my football message here. I'm going to go to this edit button. It's a little pencil icon right up top. That will let you edit an existing presentation. And then when you want to add an image in, you want to come up here to this button right here. It says add new media. And then whenever you click that, you always want to come over here and click this plus icon next to source. So then I can select my football image. Now this particular image is a what we call a transparent PNG. So you can see there's not like a white background or anything behind it. So that's kind of nice. That allows that allows me to bring this right over the top of my background image. I think I'm going to bring this text down in size just a little bit. I'm going to put this football over in the corner. And I like how that looks. I'm actually going to come over to my elements section and I'm going to duplicate that football. So there's a little icon right here that allows you to duplicate anything you have selected. That's really handy if you're creating stuff. So I'm going to move that right over there. That looks even better. While we're looking at the elements section over here, just so you know, if you drag these elements up and down, you can put them behind each other. So if I drag that all the way to the bottom, you can see that disappears behind my, um, my background image. But if I did want to put it behind my text, 
you could do that just by putting it behind the uh, the text element over here on the right. So anyway, that looks pretty good. I'm going to zoom out and see how that looks at 100% zoom. That looks great. We've got slide one over here. You can change the duration of your slides if you want to. So if I wanted to do five seconds per slide, I can make that adjustment right here. So now we've got slide one and slide two. You can get people excited for football season. We'll see how Kirk Cousins does this year. <laughs> anyway, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you learned a little bit. Be sure to go to that website uh, to get those background images and download those. And then you can upload them to your account and use them in your presentations. Like I said, I'll put some links below on how to, uh, how to find that content. Uh, otherwise, thanks for tuning in and have a great day.